Hello everyone! Look at all of those beautiful green hearts! We are going to be starting in just a second here! I hope you guys are looking forward to it. This is your last call to grab some delicious tea, to be able to get your hot chocolate, to snuggle up with your various pets. I have been seeing people saying that they are cuddling with their dogs, their cats, and their birds. I am so excited! Oh my goodness, and chat is going wild! Quick reminder, if you are a sponsor or a patron, we do have a private Discord chat, so you won't be uh, drowned in the amazing love, though I have to admit I personally love it. And we will be starting in just a second here. So your last minute call, guys. Last minute call. Get that delicious drinks, those tea. Apparently a lot of people are eating Doritos today, too. That's very interesting. Ah, uh, yes, and I am being reminded by Fern of our Patreon chat not to forget that some of you may be cuddling your hedgehogs, so be sure to grab those too. Hey guys, how are you today? Oh my goodness, the chat is going absolutely wild. Ooh, Tiger Star Storm baking Halloween cookies. And some of you guys are being horses for Halloween. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, yay, I'm so excited that you guys are excited for our weekly niche stream. Also, I have to know you guys, what did you think of the baby squirrels? Because were those not the most adorable baby squirrels you have ever seen? Chips and I went on a awesome autumn walk to kind of get ready for the stream, sort of feel just, you know, rejuvenate it, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful autumn weather that we have right now. It's starting to get really cold. And we heard something in a tree, looked up, and those two tiny baby squirrels were staring down at us, and it was adorable. I thought I was going to completely melt to pieces. I'm so glad I had brought my camera with me. They were so ridiculously cute. I have been spamming our Patreon chat with pictures of those little bitty bitty babies. And their mom was up in the tree building the dray with dead leaves. It was so cool. So she was like building up the dray to make sure it was nice and warm. And the two little babies were just sitting in the branches watching us and eating a black walnut. Absolutely adorable. I really loved them. Also, Dragon Forest AJ, I am actually behind on my fan art over in our mailforseri at gmail.com fan art email. So if you have sent fan art in and you're not seeing uh, like stream fan art show up at our little introductory fan art role that we have going on right now with our very handsome barbecue, the worm charmer, uh, taking center stage right here right now. But if you're not seeing your fan art show up, don't panic. I'm just so tired this week, guys. So this might be a little bit of a shorter stream. It has been a very long week and I have had no relief from the rush of games and updates and things that are coming out. There is no mercy this time of year. Everything that is coming out is just amazing and unbelievably exciting and I want to share all these adventures with you guys and oh my goodness. Like on Halloween, Zoo Tycoon uh, for the PC and the Xbox actually will be coming out. So it's going to be like ported to the PC. We have Cats and Dogs for Sims 4 coming out. It's just one thing after another. The Wolf Quest update will be any day now. It's amazing. It's it's just woo, 
keeping me busy. Yeah, wolf quest updates in 2018, Fern Stables. See what I mean? There is no mercy for somebody who tells adventures through video games this time of year. So I've been a little bit tired. So if this stream is a little bit shorter than usual, my apologies. I was just really excited that we were even able to stream. It's been fantastic. Oh my gosh, Patreon chat is going just about as wild as you guys up in. <laughs> <laughs> up in the YouTube chat right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so exciting to see how happy you guys are. Look at everybody. And yeah, Crunchy Puppy, isn't it really good art? I love sharing some of the amazing fan art that you guys in the community create because it's just awesome to see how everybody interprets the stories that we do differently and it adds so much more personality and character and richness to the stories that our nichelings tell us every single week and yeah uh writing the maddie uh writing with maddie there is a wolf quest update a huge one coming out that's basically going to completely rewrite the game which is why we haven't played it yet and then, yeah thank you oh adriana thank you that's so sweet of you <laughs> you guys i know and then there was the slime rancher update so if i seem a little bit more worn out or some of our series are kind of like falling behind like i still have to catch up on warrior cats again it's just chaotic it's this is like a rodeo for me this time of year. Oh my goodness, Zomayo Sebi! Oh, thank you so much, welcome! You guys, what a way to kick off the start to our stream. We have a new sponsor, oh my goodness. If our sponsors could, oh yeah, Sebi, you're gonna have the opportunity to use our special emojis now. If our sponsors could, let's cheer for them. If, like we've got little Siri cheers. What a way to get started. And yes, I, I see, oh my goodness, look at all of the, the people coming by. Sevi, I'm so excited. You should get an email about the uh, pra the Discord, the private Discord we have for patrons and for sponsors. And if you don't get it coming up pretty soon, then when we take a break, I will email it to you. Just email me at seriously at gmail.com. All right, my goodness, you guys, look at everybody. Ah! Oh, yeah, we've got a new sponsor, which is so awesome because that gets us closer to more of those awesome emojis that we can unlock and throw out for all of you to enjoy. Let me show them off really quickly because I just think it's like the cutest art. I need to put my puddle slime back in because we only have five emoji slots right now. So I kind of swap out Tata now and then. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, bye epicness. I hope you have a good time. And Wolf uh Wu Fan, if you check the video description, you can see what a sponsor is and how it helps to support the streams. We have a little Steam Labs link now. So when people like donate during streams, if you ever want to do that, then it'll rain crabbits down from the sky. We actually had a crab at war last time, which is a great way to segue away from how busy Siri is with all of the amazing game updates that are happening right now and back into our niche stream. So you guys, if you remember, let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me hide the fan art. There we go. If you guys remember from last week, we were working with our legend hunters and or seekers, excuse me. They're actually, they should be hunters, shouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Seeker's Journey is the other one. Oh my gosh, I'm always getting it flipped around. Hang on one second. We've got, yeah, okay, so our Legend Seekers, which should be Legend Hunters, so we're gonna ignore that. Sorry about that, guys. But we have been working with our tribe to try to unlock the Ruler of the Mountain achievement in Niche. And to do that, you have to go to uh, Snowy Lands and you have to be able to find the Mammoot Foot. You need to have two Mammoot Foot. You need to have a medium tail, so like a fluffy tail, because that will give you some cold resistance. You need to have small ears and you need to have a big body and that will give you the plus five cold resistance in niche which makes a nice warm fuzzy cuddly nicheling that will give you the ruler of the mountain achievement and that's what we've been working on because a couple episodes ago a couple of our live streams ago we had an avalanche of albinos born and we had so many white babies all over the place just so many albino babies everywhere and we took that as a sign that we should leave the jungle we were currently in and move on into the snowy lands and we did and it has been an adventure and last week we had the crabbit wars where people were donating so much that crabbits just rained from the sky and we ended up having crabbits spread all over the place uh, and we decided oh my goodness ah look at that Avon <laughs> Avon oh my goodness <laughs> 
So A1 has just demonstrated what happens when you donate during a stream. Kravitz rain from the sky and it's adorable and they land in the big prey pile down to the bottom right. And most of you guys probably know this by now because you have caught our live streams in one way or another. Let me see what it is that Avon actually just said because I know her and she would not say a bunch of naughty words. So I need to see why my Streamlabs is like, I'm going to hide what she tries to tell you. Come on, Streamlabs. There we go. There you go. It's like, oh no. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, come on dashboard. All right, eventually I'll figure out what Avon just said to me because I know it wasn't a bunch of naughty words. Streamlabs is just being stubborn. There we go. We'll get there. But all right, let's see. I'm glancing over. Yeah, the Crabbit Wars begin again. <laughs> Bye, Nikki. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so pulling myself together. Apologies if I'm a little bit weird today. I'm so snoozy trying to keep up with all of these game updates. It's been amazing. It's so much fun, but it's tons of work. So if I if I seem a little out of it, that's why. Uh, but in Niche. So those of you guys who are here for the game, we are playing Niche. We are in the full release version, and this is the Legend Hunters. Their goal is to unlock all of the available achievements in the game that don't have to do with Adam's Island. And right now, we are working on our current Legend Sot, as I mentioned, Ruler of the Mountains. To be a Ruler of the Mountains, you need to be a warm, fluffy Nicheling who can survive a cold night. And so that means having plus five cold resistance. To get cold resistance, big body, fluffy tail, and the mammut foot, like I mentioned earlier. The mammut foot are actually these right here. Isn't this awesome? Carrie from Australia, who is an awesome custom plushie maker, sent this to us in a snail mill gift. But mammut foot is basically having these big, gigantic, fuzzy front legs, and you can only find them inside of icebergs that are scattered around on snowy islands at random. So you have to discover a snowy island, see if it has an iceberg, and crack it open to get that prehistoric gene. In the full release version of the game, as soon as you get the prehistoric gene, you're good. You don't have to worry about it being bred out like in our Yukir tribe that we have our Let's Play of the Yukirs. Most of you guys probably know all about that, Avon. <laughs> and then, yeah, Avon's like, we're not going to have Kravit Wars this time. Yeah, she, she and Fern are friends and they're talking in the Patreon Discord right now. And then let's see... Uh, the last, yeah, and you can look into the video description if you have any questions about sponsoring or donating or things like that. And I know, isn't she so cute, Wolfu Wolfu fan? I love her so much. I love all of the adorable nicheling plushies that Carrie has made and sent to us. But that's our current goal. If you are just jumping in and you're wondering what the heck we're doing with the Legend Seekers, what the heck's going on in this particular Let's Play of the nichelings, we're trying to become fluffy, furry, warm creatures who can survive a cold winter night. We actually got really lucky because we have several big bodied creatures already in our tribe. Thanks to Blizzard right here who brought in, he also showed up, which was amazing. Out of the blue, from a jungle biome, Blizzard popped out of the twiddly doodly doo grass and showed up with Yuki and Yuki's mate. And basically you're gonna have to catch up on some of the old episodes. If not, just know we had a lot of albinos. They convinced us to go to the snowy island and Blizzard happened to have the big body that we need genetically to become a warm fluffy nicheling and get this achievement. The thing that we're missing though, because we did also manage to get several nichelings. We had these big ears. Big ears actually reduce cold resistance, which is not a good thing for the skull. So we've been getting small ears. I think Holly should actually have, oh, she needed to have normal eyesight, normal blood clotting children. But a lot of our nichelings in the family now have medium ears, which will make their ears smaller and it makes it less prone to heat loss so that they'll stay warm. But we're missing the mammut food. So we unfortunately don't have mammut food to add that warmth. The warmest nicheling on the island, I think is like Periwinkle because she has big body. Periwinkle's really cute. She's just kind of hanging out down here. Oh, look, Maple's hiding in there. Maple, I didn't almost didn't see you down there, cutie pie. But Periwinkle, I think, is like one of the warmest nichelings on the island because she has big body and she's also got medium tail and medium ears. So she's not losing any heat from her ears and she's got the big body to give her plus two cold resistance and she's got a nice fluffy medium tail. Uh, it's not the like fully fluffy tail because that's the 
the stinky tail, but she doesn't have mammut food. So are there any, do you guys know of any other traits that can keep you warm other than like mammut food? Can we, can we add in anything else other than that one? Because I, I don't think there's any other traits that can make you warmer other than having a big body and other than having, um, yeah, I don't think there's any other traits that can make you warmer other than having a big body and other than having, uh, the mammut food. Cause I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, like hedgehog doesn't know, fern doesn't know. Yeah, we have big body. I don't think, is there a fluffy tail? Cause I was trying to figure out if we were missing something. There's swimming tail, there's stinky tail, and then there's medium tail. So I think we need to actually leave this island at some point if we're going to get this achievement and we need to find more icebergs and crack them open in hopes for mammut food. That is actually going to be kind of helpful because even though we are kind of exploring the snowy lands with the Ukiers as well, we do need to be able to get all of the prehistoric genes and to get some of the other prehistoric genes for the like special prehistoric war warrior achievement. So there's two other achievements related to snow and snowy lands that feel rather appropriate to explore what with the cold autumn weather settling in. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yay! Is it Stinky Tail? I don't know. Eclipse, does Stinky Tail add a lot of warmth? Because we don't have Stinky Tail unlocked because we've never found a uh, we've we never had time actually to collect from the smelly fruit tree. But if it's Stinky Tail, we need to unlock that. Cold resistance Let's see, mammut food, medium tail, big body. Yeah, it does look like we need to have, uh, yeah, yeah. It does look like we need to have the mammut food. So thank you very much. <laughs> All right, there we go. And, oh, and what was that? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, hang on, let me pull up what your, your message was, my friend. Somebody, somebody has given us crab as we haven't even started yet because I'm such slow, a slow, slow at this. Oh, Shrieking, thank you so much. And Sid, oh, of course I could have named a, oh. <laughs> Oh, and thank you so much to the new person who has just donated. Gosh, we haven't even gotten started because I'm just a slow, slow, silly girl. Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you. So, oh, Emma, thank you. I'm so, I'm so excited. And I hope you have a lovely night too. I know this is really late for our UK crowd. And sh uh, Shrieking, I will definitely add Sid or Lisa, depending on the birth of our next nicheling to the list. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Look at the pile of Kravitz. Okay, that's the other thing I was going to say. So yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Blah, Siri keeps talking, uh, like warm body, blah, 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 blah. We need to get mammut food. Big deal. That's cool and all, but we have something even cooler right now. Yes, eventually we'll focus on the achievements. The really cool thing though, guys, is Diego. Diego has nothing to do with any of the achievements we're currently working on, but you know what? Diego's got those fangs and he's pretty awesome if you ask me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at him! I can't wait to have Diego's babies! And he actually has, I think Nancy Drew is definitely pregnant with his babies. And then we've got Snowbell, we've got Jenny, everybody is thinking about having Diego's babies because he's got those big saber fangs, he's got antlers, and he's got double claw. So he is a really, really strong nicheling. He has B and K immunity. Um, so I think that actually Nancy Drew is like the only one safe to really breed him with. But guys, look how strong he is. Eight attack, eight attack. And what I really wanted out of this island after the Crabbit Wars of last week was to be able to leave this island with nichelings strong enough to be able to eat a crabbit in one swoop. I want a nicheling who is so strong that they can just reach down and pick up that delicious crabbit and they can just pop it in their mouth and, and just eat it because it needs to happen after how much you guys have made this island crabbit island. It is like solidified permanently in my mind as crabbit island. So that is definitely something I wanna see happen for sure. And I know, right, Wolf Woo fan? Uh, I, I can't believe he's got eight attack and he doesn't even have like a big body or anything. He's just got those big old things. Let's see. Oh, that's so cool, Bryce. You've seen a nicheling come out that strong just straight from uh, the wild. I would be really impressed if that one showed up. Also, guys, if you look down in the bottom of the screen, kind of over to the right of chat, you can see a whole bunch of nichelings scroll by that are from our sponsors and our patrons. And you may notice that one nicheling with a really long name from Shrieking is currently... Uh, <laughs> was currently like it's gone now so it's Anna, Anna, Anna from Fern but you may have noticed that one nicheling with a really long name and it cracks me up every time that happens and then oh and Periwinkle tidal wave that's a good idea 
So, ahem. <clears throat> We are going to be jumping into the big messy pile of our wildness that we have done. Um, oh gosh, and there's a whole bird right there who wants to eat all of our delicious babies. But let me just review a few things from last time, just really, really quick, really quickly. Uh, you guys help me keep track of the number of days that we have been with this tribe. We are currently on day 112. When I press the, the day movement so that we go through the next day cycle, that's when you guys let me know because I often forget with the chaos of, you know, our babies almost being eaten by giant blue birds, which has actually happened with Tata -ta, Ta a couple episodes ago. That was a little dramatic. Uh, with breeding, with unexpected genetic mutations, I forget what day it is. You guys help me keep track. Also, we keep track of which tribe leader we currently have and right now i am very proud to say that is holly the frosty blossom who is right down here she might have to think about romancing sid too she is also very strong and she has declared that all of the nichelings on the island need to focus on clearing out those little bundles who are going after the berries but mostly looking for delicious crab legs especially because she is currently expecting and she's feeling like eating some delicious crab legs so we always will have have a tribe leader you guys help me pick and then we kind of guide our tribe not only based around what the achievement we're working on but also what that tribe leader's personality might want like eating crab legs because she's a hungry pregnant nichling and then finally we have the recent heroes nichlings who have done something fantastic and of note on the island are infamous for one reason or another famous or well loved or notorious for one reason or another on the island and our current hero happens to be Nancy Drew, the explorer. Let me find her. Where is she? Nancy, there you are. She's heavily pregnant with Diego's child. She's very proud because she is a child descended from Agent N, who has been from a long line of platypus detectives, believe it or not. <laughs> And she is very curious and wanted to know what was in that other iceberg on the other side of the island. And she's the one who freed Diego. So it's kind of a love story that's very, a very long winded one, but that's how we got there. But all right. And yes, and yes, Shrieking, Shrieking is mentioning in the Patreon chat, which I always love how excited. Oh my gosh, Patreon chat, 300 messages already. Oh my goodness. And don't worry, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. It's Rose, you remember Shark Bait. Yay. Oh, and yes, Tomalu, Agent N was indeed part of the 007 Nishling group. That's classified information, though. You're going to have to answer some questions about how you know that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I will try to have a little bit of wind down time afterward to answer some of your guys' questions because um, there's so much going on. But basically, we also just got this nanny named Dipsy. She just showed up and Cattails or Crabbit. Oh, that's right. Why do I always think he's Cattails? That was his, his mom. <laughs> But Crabbit, we had a Crabbit baby boom because, uh, Crabbit baby boom, by the way, because this, this nicheling's name is Crabbit, but we had a baby boom with him because it was Crabbit Wars last time with Crabbits raining down from the sky from our amazing people who were donating. It was fantastic. But all right, let's go ahead. Um, there we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, and if you guys have questions, we can go ahead and chat about them uh, in the future. Flaming Sky from Heart Clan is showing up from Fern Stuff. And we're good to go, guys. We also have Ella. I think what we're going to focus on today, how much food do we have? 170. I think we're going to focus on really trying to have Diego have some babies. We're going to let Holly kind of lead things. And then, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, Renee! <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. We have more Kravitz. Wonderful. Holly, the pregnant lady, is very happy. Not starting a Kravitz war, just happy to be here from the stream. Oh, thank you, Renee. I'm so happy you're able to join us too. I was really hoping you might get a smile out of the stream today. That's one of the big reasons I actually was like, you know what? We're going to do this. But all right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and get started. I think knowing that we need mammoth food, uh, we probably need to leave the island. And there's actually a trick now in the layout of the islands. And Shrieking has actually told, uh, told me how to do this. So if you want to find another snowy island, because to get the achievement ruler of the mountains, we have to be able to find more of the icebergs, which means more snowy islands. To get that, 
then what I need to do, there's a very specific like way to go. Hang on, because Shrieking was really cool in Patreon chat and like guided me through it. Basically, we need to go left on snowy islands and then you go north and then there will be a snow port. So if, you, if you're on a snowy island and you go left and then you go north, then it should take you to an area that will have a snowy island portal again, which is really helpful. I kind of miss the old version of Niche when things would uh, like always be randomized. You never really knew like where you were going to end up every time you jumped on a port. So it kind of is like, oh, I always know that like how to get to a snowy island kind of weird to me but we're gonna have fun with it so i think what we're gonna do today is we are going to allow miss holly to collect as many crabbits as she wants and then we are going to send our strong nichelings who carry on some of the traits that we want to see the big body we want to make sure we keep that fluffy tail going because do we have that in our mutation menu let me check really quickly do we have that? We do. So we have the medium tail, so we don't need to worry about that. But we are apparently not in cold enough climate to unlock big body. So we just need to make sure we send nichelings who have big body to the next island so that we can get this achievement. But then we'll have Holly kind of send everybody out, gather up tons of crabbits. We'll have about 300 food. Then we'll scooch it to this one right here, <sighs> which looks suspiciously like a savanna. So we'll leave the savanna as quickly as possible so we don't burn to death and lose our entire tribe. And then we'll hoof it to the north and then we should be able to find another snowy island. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, enough of this. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we're gonna do. All right, days passed, guys. We've had some babies, guys. Oh no, guys, some of the babies are apparently sick. I know, right? So we, like last time we went to the savanna, we almost burned to death. And so this is your first test of the day. And Eclipse the Half-Blood, if we're on an easy island, we'll probably just settle on it. But if we're on a hard island, then we'll definitely hoof it. Yes, I'm so proud of you guys. Look at all of you who are saying day 113. That is totally what we need to do. Also, who said that? That is so funny. Okay, I cannot pronounce your name for anything, but Pator, I think a Crabbit Wars movie would be hilarious. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, all of a sudden everyone burns, Sarah. You're right. That's what happens when we go to Savannah Islands. But all right. So after that long-winded explanation, sorry guys, I'm a little tired today, so I'm a little more rambly than usual. We are over here. We are going to start making things happen, and we're going to start always, I think, with the tribe leader, just to kind of help me figure out uh which one to focus on. But right over here, we have tribe leader Holly, who's actually suffering from frostbite. Not cool, not cool at all. I think her mate, Pine, is going to like rush over and warm her up. Oh, this is a new symbol. This is so cute. Do you see this symbol? It's like a little fox wrapped around a cub. Oh, it's like two little foxes cuddling. <gasps> that's so cute. That's totally a new symbol. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. All right, let's go ahead. There we go, warmed her up. She has a new baby named Sila. Uh, we'll have to give her maybe a new name. She is Pine's child and Holly's child. Uh, she kind of reminds me. I don't know what she reminds me of. I'll wait and see what you guys might have as name suggestions for her uh, <laughs> this summer. Oh my gosh, Callium, that is hilarious in Patreon chat for the Kravit Wars movie. This summer, there will be pinchers. Dun dun dun. Kravit Wars. 2017 or I guess it would be 2018 in the summer, but let's see uh, Sila Glancing on over Lilac. I like that name Wolf wolf. There was a wolf involved in your name. Oh dear and your name just like woo Wolf Bartholomew. I think lilac sounds like a great name for her So I'm gonna go ahead and name her lilac. She's really really strong uh, Very very much strong does she have so she's got big body what kind of tail does she have yes and medium tail okay so she could probably go with small ears she could go to another island and she has digging trunk recessive which i think is funny but really we don't need to stay on this island very long so i think now that holly has kind of warmed up she's going to jump to the side she's going to go ahead and mate with pine again and we're going to go ahead and have them <laughs> kravitz on fire exploding kravitz kravitz nato <laughs> Callum. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. We're going to go ahead and have them just start gathering food. Uh, there's not really much we need to stay on this island for now that we have Diego. So we'll kind of wiggle this way and we'll get a ton of food and we'll leave and go look for the new snow areas. Oh wait, actually guys, 
We don't need to go look for a new snow area. I forgot, we have a hard snowy island right to the north. I'm a little embarrassed now. So actually, there's a hard snowy island right to our north. I feel a little silly now. We don't need to go anywhere in the big long search for them. We just need to go north. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, sorry guys. I totally missed that in Patreon chat. I got so distracted thinking about, um, yeah. I get so distracted. She can't we're both like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we'll go north. Never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I am feeling brave, Bryce. I am feeling brave. So let's have our round of babies. So oh, this this crab it, or excuse me, this bunny is also feeling pretty brave. Yeah, and now it's dinner. All right, there we go. So Snowbell is kind of clearing things up. Ginny is pretty good. Does she have any traits we really want to pass on? She's got Velvet Paw, but not really. And I don't think she and Diego need to have any babies. So I'm going to have Ginny jump up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's so many nests. Diego, let's have you, like, uh, Diego's got a lot of strength too. So I wonder, could he come over and get that bunny like in one fell swoop? Hang on. There's so many bunnies. What is with this? I think Diego might want to show off how strong he is. So where's the nearest thing he can kill and eat? Because rawr, saber teeth strength, grrr. So, I mean, nichely. All right, well, there's so many bunnies. What the heck? Okay, all right. Uh, Periwinkle and Diego. Let me see if I can make them have babies. Tidal wave ocean clan. Periwinkle. Periwinkle is one of our best nichelings. We can, okay. Periwinkle, rumors have it a new male has arrived onto the island. Shall we go meet him? All right, she's gonna grab a bunny snack. I think Periwinkle and Diego actually could probably have some pretty healthy children. And then yeah, that way we wouldn't have to go to the savannah either, Sarah, if we just go north, totally right. All right, Graham Cracker is gonna scooch over. Is he still being protected from that bird? I think so. We're up to about 30 nichelings again, and that's about where things start going. Um, yeah, that's about where things start going, like hard to keep track of the nichelings. So I'm just gonna have them kind of gather the food. We're just gonna refer to Holly. Holly says, we well, should gather food and we only have 17 grass. So we'll gather up a bunch of grass too. So let's go ahead. I love how you guys are like writing all of the uh, Nishling war movie, <laughs> movie scripts in chat right now. That's hilarious by the way. But let's see, Holly sends out the order. Maple, she'll just go ahead to start gathering up nesting material because Holly is a new mother herself now. And so Holly, as the Frosty Blossom leader of our beautiful Legend Hunters tribe, is saying that she wants to make sure all of the babies are warm enough and we should gather much of the grass right now. So pretty much every free nicheling who is not going ahead and hunting down all of these excessive amounts of bunnies that are literally everywhere. Uh, is going to start gathering up some of the grasses, I think. There we go. And then we've got Ella, who is still pregnant. She has had very many babies with her mate Chestnut, who is quite happy to stay nearby and kind of watch over his bride. There we go. And then what? Chicky Cat, truly? Nishlings with 10 plus attack can destroy rocks? Okay, we're definitely gonna have to try that out. Oh, hi, Lena. Thank you so much for the super chat, Lena. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have more Krabbits falling down from the sky soon. Oh my gosh, and there's some hilarious Sabertooth Diego memes going on in patron chat right now. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. All right, oh, there they go, yay! Thank you so much, thank you so much. Look at all of that. Lena, thank you so much for the Krabbits. All right, so let's get Snow Lily up. She is going to go ahead and try to visit with her mom. And uh, there we go. She'll just gather some things. Ella is really laid back. I love her digging trunk. I really expected like a lot of drama out of Ella, the pink elephant, but she just kind of ends up hanging out and like having lots of babies and being very happy with uh, Blizzard. Yeah, Krabbit's falling from the sky. Oh, it makes me so happy when you guys go ahead and put out all the Krabbits. All right, let's come over. And we do have Dipsy now. And we invited Dipsy into the tribe because she's going to be a new babysitter. She's got a, uh, see, she has Stinky Tail. Thank goodness. So we can actually look at the gene, Stinky Tail. It adds a distasteful scent, but it does not add warmth. So having the medium tail is the only one that will add warmth. That's a good one. War of the planet for Kravitz. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. And Sid. Sid is not born yet. Nancy Drew is going to have the baby Sid in just a second. All right, Albatross has caught Dipsy. So Dipsy is being called over and she's going to become um, 
she's actually gonna become the nanny and kind of keep all of the baby nichelings warm. So she's being gently shoved towards the nest where she can help Holly out with the babies. All right, and Albatross will help her sister out when it comes to getting all of these bundles. Look at all these bunnies. Like, do they have a death wish? What is with this? All right, oh my goodness, and Jean's bond, unfortunately, can't do a lot of damage to them. But what about this one? There we go. All right, so these little ones are old enough. Tiger Eye can come on down, and he can help out with getting some of the nichelings. We have Anna, who is unfortunately sickly. Wow, beautiful Reese, too. Okay, hang on, guys. And then, let me see. Uh, da -dun 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 -dun. There we go, Kravitz from the sky. Jeans Bond, a Kravitz Jones, Raiders of the Lost Jeans. That's hilarious, I like that. All right, and I need a, I need a Nicheling who's strong enough to destroy these toxic berries too. All right, Kravitz, you keep an eye on your children, why don't ya? So I'm gonna scooch him over. Oh, they're right next to a healing plant actually, so they might be able to protect the baby. Uh, I, I can't go too far away from the baby or else she's going to unfortunately get sick. Uh, Izzy the second, we'll just keep you right there. Sugar needs higher strength. You know who could be savior of the babies? Diego. Hey buddy, I've got a job for you. You think you're gonna show off and be so handsome by like tackling some walrus bigger thing? No, he doesn't get to tackle a walrus deer. He's actually going to have to go ahead and attack poison berry bushes <laughs> so the babies don't eat them. Don't think that's quite the life that he had pictured for himself. So I'm gonna send him over here because Periwinkle is going to come over in a second. All right, there we go. Now we're moving, now we're moving. Uh, and I'll jump up here to see if I can keep an eye on anything. All right, so I think really, truly, all we're really going to focus on right now is gathering up food, gathering up nesting material, and trying to not dwell too long on the nichelings. So next day... Yeah, a walrus bear, Sarah? Oh man, the walrus bear is hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and it is the next day my friends. Did we have any babies? We should have SIDS. It should have just been born day 114 Adding into our overly abundant and large tribe now <laughs> What is with all these bundles? Why are they coming up to us? Why are there so many of them? I have so many questions about these bundles. All right, we'll go ahead and get that Whoa, and check Sid out. Hello, handsome. He's like a Reese's piece, guys. So this is Sid, named after Shrinking's request, and Sid is pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, and Kravison sounds like an amazing name, Abby. I love that. But there we go. Now we have got Sid added in. Wonderful. And that's true, that's true. Avon is pointing out that the ladies do appreciate a guy who could protect their kids, so maybe Diego will see that the way to go to win all the ladies is to just get rid of, you know, poison berry bushes instead of fight off rogues and a little bit more daring things that he's actually hoping for. But alright, and because we made the day pass, let me go ahead and turn up the sound. Let me know if it gets too loud, guys. But the first day on the, an island save in the new game is so loud in niche now. Okay, and let me know if that gets a little bit too loud, but I think we can finally risk turning it up again. Because I had to leave it like way turned down. All right, I have no idea what's going on. Is that okay on the... the is that okay on the sound? It is only day 114, actually, Lily, don't worry. All right, good. And good, good, good. Niche does cost a little bit of money. Okay, good, sound is good. All right, thank you so much, Patreon chat. And it looks like Ella had another baby named Rico. So we've got way too many nichelings. I think it's about time to start thinking about moving to the north. So let me go ahead and just get Periwinkle over to the other side because she has heard rumors of this handsome male. And I think Diego is going to just go ahead and tromp straight into like all of the bushes because <laughs> he's trying to find a way to impress everybody. He smells a whole bunch of bundles. It's just like Bunnel City out here. He wants to show off his strength. He doesn't want to be like told to go and destroy some toxic berry bushes. How boring is that? So he's gonna work on that. We're gonna go ahead and have Nancy Drew get pregnant again. We'll have Jenny kind of watch over the baby, gather up nesting material. Like I said, we're gonna be moving a little quicker through some of this now. Cranberry is a little cold, but she, G 
Jean's bond and Tiger Eye can actually start moving together in a little crew, a little group together. And Ana Ana can stay over here next to, uh, we can actually put her into a hot springs and she'll be okay. Reese can go with her mother, Sugar. There we go. Now we're starting to kind of get things moving along. <gasps> Crab it! Crab it just died, guys! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Crab it just passed away. <gasps> oh, oh, Amari! Hey, Amari! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> Alari is one of our amazing artists. Oh, the golden crab is falling from the sky. Alari is our fantastic artist who we have actually commissioned to do the in screens and we have commissioned her to be able to do a whole bunch of our warrior cats art. Oh, that's so exciting. Thank you so much. Yay, Kravitz. Except boo, sad Kravitz. Like Kravitz the Kravitz. Nishling died. And that's a little bit sad to say the least, but thankfully, he had quite the celebration last week, guys. Truly, the Krabbit Wars were all about him in the end, and it was amazing. Also, Kawaii Pixels, if you would like to send in fan art, you can totally send it to my mail for Siri at gmail.com channel or email. It is in the video description, so you can find it there. So poor Krabbit. I am gonna miss him, but thank you so much, Alari. I cannot wait to get back to Warrior Cats. That's in the big pile of things that I'm trying desperately to keep up with right now. Ah. <sighs> But I think Izzy is gonna go ahead and kind of clean up these old nests and just keep a, a careful eye on her daughter right now, just to make sure nothing untold happens to little Anna Anna this early in. And we will start naming the nichelings in just a little bit here. I'm kind of gonna start to pick like one or two of the uh, nicheling groups to follow and everybody else we're just gonna like kind of ignore her, <laughs> which sounds terrible. Frost, why don't we send you down? Oh no, uh-uh. Uh, uh Have we named this guy? We had tartar sauce. The, the tradition of the legends, in case you guys don't know, is to name all of the rogues after condiments. Really boring condiments. And we have just, bye Amy. We have just found another rogue. What is this? What is this? Oh, Avon, thank you so much. Oh, in honor of Kravit. Rest in peace, Kravit. Thank you, Avon. <laughs> Kravitz in honor of Kravit. I should put on my Kravit earrings. You guys see I've got my DNA earrings on for good luck again. Oh my goodness. Lonnie, rest in pincers, Kravit. That's that's beautiful. That is beautiful. You guys are hilarious. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to name this one Vinegar. I do think Vinegar is a good name. Thank you, Penguin. I think Vinegar is actually a fitting name and he is not going to get his nasty paws on any of our nichelings because no, no. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Frost was able to defeat him. So don't worry, guys. Uh, our beautiful warriors of white are actually going around our snowy warriors and defeating him. And that actually puts a good point out there. I think we should possibly send some of these ladies over, like Nibbles wants to send her daughters over. I wonder, they can't have big body. Do they have big body recessive? Darn, they've got lean body. I kind of want to try to get some like white female warriors who are from Yuki's line going and always keep them with our tribe while we're in the snowy lands. I might try to work on that. Um, that's really, uh, that, that'll be something we'll have to play with, but all right. Meanwhile, down here, Maple is just going to live a happy, quiet, little peaceful life, gathering up some of the nesting material. Graham Cracker is going to start wandering around in search of what all of those interesting noises are from the bunnies jumping around. And then let's go ahead. <laughs> and then we've got Ella jumping over. Sorry, I was just checking on chat for a second. Ella is going to oh I'll use her digging trunk to dig up three delicious roots from the ground right there. See what happens when we have so many nichelings. You're just like oh my gosh what's happening? There's so much going on. Are there anything anything else we could get? Oh my gosh, there's so many bundles. Why are there so many bunnies on this island? This is Crabbit Island. Uh, and then we've got little Lilac. We're gonna have her scooching over. Her mother Holly is really craving crabbits. So we might send Snow Lily down in search of crabbits too. All right, let's get Dipsy, the nanny over here. And Dipsy's job is basically just going to be helping to keep Holly and the babies warm so that others can go adventuring and searching across the island. Like Birch over here. Let's go ahead and scooch Birch over. And I'm gonna send, 
Snow Lily with him. And unfortunately, Birch and Snow Lily can't have any healthy babies. I'm really hoping... Let's see, can Albatross or Osprey possibly have babies? Okay, Osprey definitely won't have any healthy babies. Uh, and also, her sister needs to warm her up. Hmm. All right, guys, I think we're going to move Snow Lily down. She does have recessive big body. Does she have good tail? She's got swimming tail. I think that Periwinkle is going to be our best bet, actually, for being able to pass on the traits that we need for for what we're going for. Oh, I guess but I guess swimming tail isn't a big deal with Snow Lily because I can actually tell her to have a, a medium tail. You can tell I'm a little bit tired. A little bit tail of a tail today. All right, so let's have Snow Lily go adventuring. She's going to head off and start adventuring with Birch, and we're going to send them down. There we go. And I think that we're going to go ahead and Pine is going to spend his time kind of tidying up this main area right here. Nibbles is dying. Oh, Desiree, thank you so much for becoming one of our sponsors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, there goes a Siri. Oh, oh my crabbits. Our crabbits just went flying everywhere. Oh my gosh. Desiree, thank you so much. She, she is also one of our... Oh, oh my gosh, she's also one of our patrons. Also, we need to say goodbye to Nibbles. Everybody is pointing out we will need to say goodbye to Nibbles. She has one day left and she defended her daughters from the rogue and has told them to go forward, go on and be strong and carry on the winter warriors, the snowy warriors onto new lands. I think that's what we'll try to do. We'll try to send some of our like snowy nichelings to the north, uh, but otherwise, so many nichelings, too many nichelings. Just need to focus on getting materials. But thank you, Desiree. Oh, Elari! <laughs> thank you so much, Elari! You guys, I'm gonna have to go and check on things because that would be really fun to see how many emojis we can have. Oh, thank you so much! That gives us even more emojis to play with. I definitely need to see if I can make a Yuki or a Lucky genetic emoji now because whenever something untold happens in our streams, we do have Tata. -ta. So we do have Tata -ta to rely on. But yeah, 30 nichelings is kind of where I start losing track every single time without fail of what's going on. So we're just gonna gather up a whole bunch of nesting material now. There we go, because that's what Holly's saying. Keep the babies warm and find crabbits is all the woman wants right now. So is that everybody? That is everybody. So Holly has just been very specific. She wants warm babies and crabbits, and that's what we're gonna focus on. And thank you so much, Alari. And thank you guys so much for cheering Alari on as she's become one of our, yeah, and a little DNA emoji. Callium, I was thinking about making one, like a lucky emoji, like a little blue pixel emoji or something. And yeah, <laughs> that is indeed the prey pile, Rainy. And whenever somebody becomes a sponsor, uh, the, or a patron actually, then my little head will drop down into the prey pile, which is now covered in crabbits, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. All right, next day, Nibbles! Nibbles, rest in peace. I will not forget your sacrifice. I will not forget that you were reborn from that beautiful rogue nicheling who fell in love with the fourth reincarnation of Yuki. And then you were reborn with Yuki's fifth reincarnation so that you could have many beautiful albino children. And if that sounded very confusing, that just gives you a little bit of the insight into some of the chaos that our, our, little, our little streams often could get into. So rest in peace, Nibbles. She's back with Yuki the fifth now though, guys. So it's, it's all meant to be. And it, oh, it's so cute. We have a whole bunch of little candle emojis going in patron chat now. All right, so hang on. And we will name some of the babies in just a little bit. Too many nichelings. Definitely very overwhelming. <gasps> what? What? Okay, we'll name, basically we will name Holly's children and we will name Diego's children. And everybody else we're just kind of going to kind of keep moving with. But we now have Holly has had another child and it is a little girl named Riri and she's actually got cracker jaw and recessive digging trunk, B and E immunity, and she's got medium ears, medium body with big body recessive, and she's got swimming tail and stinky tail recessive. And then she does look like, she does look like Cookie. She does look almost identical to little Meese, doesn't she? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, let's see. 
Coco. I really like the name Coco. We're actually gonna go with the name Coco this time. Kind of like hot chocolate. And I bet she really loves like the nuts. I just really think she's gonna be a little nut obsessed nicheling. So we're gonna put her under the tree with her dad. I think Pine is also kind of like a little bit nut obsessed. And we're gonna stick them under the tree together and hopefully they will be able to gather much delicious food. But we'll go ahead and have, oh no, Holly didn't get pregnant. She really wanted another baby. Is she pregnant now? Okay, now she's pregnant. So we're gonna go ahead and have them have a baby and Pine's gonna jump over to grab some nuts to toss over to uh, to the little to the little Coco. And Natella would have been a really good name for her actually for a nut obsessed nicheling. You guys are right. All right, and let's see. Basil is very cute too. <laughs> oh, and Brownie Vat. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna come over. Periwinkle is going to continue her wandering adventures as she is searching out the rumors of this new male on the other side of the island. Meanwhile, the new male is trying to show off his strength. Crabbit! There's a crabbit! He's trying to show off his strength by finding something to fight that's tougher than a berry bush because that's a little bit, a little bit below his uh, sense of pride. Let's send Snowbell over. There's so many, so many bundles. I don't understand why there's so many bundles today. Okay, yeah, Pine's a little nutty. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, Brownie Bat. Uh, I'm gonna have Diego. He's got a little while to live. Where's Periwinkle? Where'd she go? She's right over there. I'm gonna have Diego follow the nearest thing that, okay, so there's bundles over here. There's so many bundles. I don't understand why there's so many bundles. All right, hang on. Is Nancy Drew pregnant? Okay, Nancy Drew is pregnant. Sorry, guys. Too many nichelings. All right, let's get clear out the ones who I know are going to be doing their work. We've got little Sid. Scooch him over. New Kier. Oh, my gosh. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew is having, like, non-stop. What is this? What is this? Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for the golden cravats. Where did that come from? Who was that? Oh, my gosh. Desiree, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you guys. Please, if you could, if we could have our little crabs, like do a little crab dance for our crabbits. But Desiree, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. And Sarah, yes, we do have, we do indeed have a beautiful, uh, a beautiful nichling named Nancy Drew. She is descended from the 007 line of nichlings. We need to name her children after some really wonderful detectives. I'm kind of thinking that Nancy here here is going to be our little Sherlock. So I'm going to name this little guy Sherlock because he does have Sabretooth Fang recessive. So here's little Sherlock. I'm going to need even more. So Sherlock and Sid and I'm going to need future things uh, to be able to name a whole bunch of different detective children that we might have on this line. So that's going to be pretty fun. Yay! And thank you guys so much for the Kravit dance. Woo! Look at all that. Bye, Talinks. I hope you have a wonderful night. I know, this, we've got a Krabbit dance going on. It's not Krabbit Wars this time. It's going to be the Krabbit dance. Everybody do the Krabbit dance. Oh my gosh, you guys got me way too hyper again. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's get Nancy Drew back in the nest. I think Diego is like angrily eating this bundle now. He, he's, well, he's expecting to have like all of these battles. Maybe he was frozen right before of a big fight and he was ready to really show off his strength to the ladies. And they, they just want him to destroy toxic berry bushes. There's just a whole bunch of little bundles running all over the place. I think he's a little bit put out now. I think he wants a challenge. He might live long enough to go to the Heart Island actually. We might really have to think about that. All right, so let's see. Diego, we'll go ahead and have him just like, ah. <laughs> he uses the last of his energy to clear some grass from a bush, like rolling his eyes and annoyed, and a bundle just runs between his legs. <laughs> I think Diego is ready for something a little tougher, so we may actually send Diego to the north rather than keeping him uh, with the rest of the group. But all right, Cranberry is going to be right over here. We have got little Jean's Bond, who is actually one of Nancy Drew's children. We've got Tiger Eye right over here. We have birds circling overhead, acting like they're gonna eat our babies, which we are not going to allow, by the way. At least if I remember correctly. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo would be a hilarious name for one of our, our nichelings. I will totally admit that. Having, having the Scooby-Doo crew show up right before Halloween might actually be awesome. Also, Phoenix would be a really cool name in the future, Rila. We might have to, I might have to go through and like name the nichelings we haven't just yet. But right, Albatross, I feel like Holly feels like 
there's just way too many bunnels. Like there's a bunnel invasion. She can't quite figure out what it's about, but she still wants those crabbits. So um, I'm gonna send her sisters. Well, you know what? There's just bunnels everywhere. Might as well. Her sisters are still gonna be collecting up the bunnels. Oh, Alari! Hazelnut would make an amazing name. Thank you so much, Alari. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to name uh, one of our adorable little nichelings that we can keep around Hazelnut for sure. Thank you so much, Alari. We should see your crabbits come raining down from the sky in a second. Uh, all right, oh, and we got crabbit over here. This is ridiculous. All right, let's have Birch keep moving. Oh, he ran right into a tree or a rock. That's fine. Snow Lily is going to stay with him and we'll have Lilac come on down and join them. Yay! Thank you, Alari! And there's some more Kravitz for our Kravitz pile. <laughs> Wait, Sherlock's not protected? Maria! Maria! Are you sure? <gasps> Sherlock! Sherlock! Beep, 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 beep! Alarms! Alarms! Sherlock! Go, 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 go! Izzy the second did it! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for pointing out that Sherlock was an unprotected baby. That would have been a really bad twist of fate if we had lost him. Also a really bad twist of fate is I think I just brought the common cold in on that little group. I'm sorry, look at all these bundles. I got distracted and alarmed because of all of the bundles that we have and I, I'm sorry, we'll have to see what we can do. All right, grab a ween, it would be hilarious. All right, Hazelnut is definitely gonna have to go on our list. Let me let me see if we have a baby that I'm really proud of that would be a good Hazelnut. There's literally, there's literally no way to be able to eat any berries because there's so many bundles. They're just eating the berries before I can even get close to them. Uh, we've got little Graham Cracker. He's got medium body, big body recessive, medium tail, but he's pretty interesting. He's healthy and he has IND immunity. So I'm gonna have Graham Cracker start moving over with the others. He can join Lilac Bert and Birch and we can send them up to the north because I do wanna try to get off this island uh, by the end of the day. And then we've got Dipsy right over here and her job is just to make sure that Holly is nice, comfortable, and warm. You guys have so many cool names. We'll go through and uh, also frozen berry bushes regenerate less. Bryce, thank you so much. Oh, and Mandy, hi. Oh, Mandy, I'm so excited to see you. I've been loving following your Instagram, by the way. All right, so let's see, Chestnut is doing good. Uh, he could have a little sister. Could this be Hazelnut? She's pretty healthy. All right, uh, Rico, you're gonna get a new name. You're gonna be our little hazelnut. And maybe you're gonna be friends with our wonderful Coco. So where's Coco? Right up here? Yeah, hazelnut and Coco could probably be really good friends. So we might have them hang out together. And I think Ella might finally be done having babies. <laughs> so we might have her and Blizzard just kind of hang out. Blizzard, where are you going, buddy? Okay, he could get berries. He could dig things up. I might just have him hang out with his mate for a second. What is with all of these bundles? I do not understand why there's so many bundles. All right, winter. Winter and frost are going to start. There we go. I mean, they can just get some bundles. We'll just have to focus on gathering up some food. All right, let's see. And then, ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll focus on some of the names for the detective nichelings. So, as I mentioned, I do really badly after we get over 30 nichelings, so I'm going to kind of zip along. Next day, the birds, oh, just one disappeared, one is still here. All right, it is day 116, and we will name some of the babies in just a second. Who's this one? Another platypus child. This is so interesting. So it seems, you guys, that platypus beak, which is a gene that Nancy Drew actually is carrying, will always be dominant over Sabretooth. So unfortunately, Reiko here, we probably aren't going to take with us because she's got short-sighted eyes. Um, so probably not a good thing to do. Already changed it to 116. And then... Yeah, there's so many babies. There's way too many babies. Uh, it's so hard to keep track of everybody. Oh, Trinket! Oh, Ramimi Me! Yeah, Ramimi Me, reborn Ramimi Me of Yuki the First. Oh, I do remember Ramimi Me. Oh, thank you so much, Trinket. Look, there's another Krabbit for our pile. Okay, we're gonna do this. You can see Siri freaks out when we hit a certain wall. Periwinkle, you're needed. We're gonna get you over here, my dear. Oh, okay, so she just got a Krabbit dinner. 
And then I guess Periwinkle and Diego are gonna have to start having babies if we're gonna see any progress. So Diego came out hearing something rustling in the bushes, thinking that it was some fierce foe that he could fight. And he crashes right into big, beautiful Periwinkle, her large fluffy body and her fluffy tail, hopefully indicating that she'll survive very well to the north. I'm actually tempted to go ahead and send Diego and Periwinkle rather than making them have children. Uh, so we might do that instead. And Ella passed away. Ella? Ella! Oh, she got to spend her final moments with her mate Blizzard at least. And he's about to pass away too. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Thank you, Lily, for noticing. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and you guys would not believe the amazing things being posted in Patreon chat right now in terms of memes, by the way. They're pretty hilarious. They're pretty hilarious. What is this? Oh, 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 hello. Hello, I guess. Okay then, can you row? A short sighted, he's not a rogue guys. He's not a rogue actually. Um, oh, a Narvi cat. Yeah, if you wanna become a patron, you can find all sorts of information about it. I actually send out like postcards to our patrons. Like here's an example of the postcard that we had going out to patrons uh, a couple months ago. I change them every month. So patrons get like unique postcards. There's so many perks, so many perks and so many amazing people in the Patreon chat. But all right, so we have a new nicheling in. I already have so many. All right, give me just a second. He's not a rogue. We might keep him around. I don't know. He has a fluffy tail and he has that big body, but I don't know if I'm that desperate yet. And he doesn't have very good immunity and he just wants berries. When was the last time we had a chance to eat berries? Never, because there's so many bundles. All right, let's get everybody who I want to the other side, uh, kind of wiggling over there. All right, come on, Lilac. We're gonna get you on this side. We're gonna get graham cracker ready to go. Birch can go ahead and he can do, oh, he can fish, what? I didn't know Birch could fish. Where'd you get that from, Birch? Wow, he's got a lot of attack actually from his claw. Okay, so Birch just fished a little bit and we're kind of just gonna jump around. Uh, Maple can grab some bunnel meat over here. These lovely ladies can get some bunnel meat and they can bring little hazelnut into their group if they want. But I think hazelnut's gonna hang out with her father under the tree. And then Pine got a berry, which is a miracle in this family. Holly is gonna, well, Holly, whoops, I shouldn't have moved her that much. I'm gonna have Holly kind of move under the big nest and we'll have our nanny start clearing away this grass. Uh, we have an unprotected baby. So Chestnut is going to run up here to protect the baby and his sister can come join them. There we go. And then I'm gonna let Blizzard stay over here and he's about to pass away, but he'll ne be next to the bones of his beloved mate. So we've got that going. Winter, I think that Winter and Frost will jump up here to be with Blizzard in his final moments and also to warm up. So they're kind of, the Winter Warriors are showing up to wrap their, their fur around and warm up Old Man Blizzard in his final moments. And I think that's actually really touching. There's something amazing. I really wanna get some of the winter coat colors going onto the next island too. Oh, Jekyll and Hyde to Moby. Thank you so much for the, the, the super chat, by the way. And thank you so much for the Kravitz. And Jekyll and Hyde would be so cool if we had twins. Oh my gosh, I really want to have twins. That would be so cool. All right, hang in there, guys. When we get big tribes, it's really hard. So I think we will actually scooch our way up north sooner than later <gasps> and we just had no Rocco you you were born last time weren't you did I not move your mom off the nest what who knows okay hang on guys so bunnel oh my gosh you're kidding me why why so many bunnels <laughs> jeans bond you can go ahead we're gonna send them kind of investigating together uh cranberry can grab this we're going to keep everybody in a group we're gonna let them roam around uh, Sid can come over and join this little crew of kids moving around trying to discover things. Sherlock is safe. I think Sherlock really looks up to Snowbell. So I think he and Snowbell might hang out. And Nancy Drew can go ahead and keep an eye on all of her children. Jenny is kind of a maternal nicheling. She can help out there. Sorry guys. Uh, Tiger Eye. You think Tiger Eye would be good for the next island? Where'd you go Tiger Eye? What we'll probably do to figure out who goes to the next island is we'll go ahead and we will select uh, jeans. Like, okay, who has big body? 
for instance, you can go ahead and go, okay, now I can see all of which generation have the different genes. And we'll probably go down the list and start choosing from there. I think Periwinkle is actually, Periwinkle, excuse me, is actually like one of the best possible nichelings that we could have go. And Birch could probably go too. Can he and Periwinkle have healthy babies? No, that'd be really pushing it. Uh, Lilac, Lilac going would be a good idea. I think she's got a lot of strength. Uh, she also has the medium tail and she has the big body. So lilac going, we'll probably choose our nichelings that way when it comes time to move to the next island. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of like focused. It's really hard to <laughs> count all of the nichelings. <laughs> There's so many. Tiger and cranberry might be good. And then, okay, let's see. Oh, this is hilarious. People are like having the most hilarious memes in our Patreon chat right now. All right, and then this side of the island, see what I mean? Every time I think we have finished one side of the island, there's an entire another side of the island to take care of. So if you're not involved, sugar, if you are currently not involved in our breeding operations, then you just get to kind of clip along a little faster. All right, next day. Oh, blizzard. Rest in peace, blizzard. I really, really hope we can have some of our winter warriors go to the next island because I think that would be amazing. And I think we should move to the next island too. So I don't know if we'll actually breed some of our nichelings. Let's see how long it takes for Snow Lily and the others. Aha, uh -huh, there's some bunnels. Okay, get out of the water, little one. Lilac, Lilac, did you just run past, did she just run past a koi fish? She did, that's so cool. Can we actually catch that koi fish? Ah, no, he got away, okay. All right, so graham cracker in this group. Oh, look, and the koi fish came right up to us. That's so neat. And you can see the reflection of them in the water. That's awesome, guys. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we don't want big ears, North Wind. We know um, we're trying to keep medium ears in, but you can, We I think we've unlocked medium ears as something we can mutate in. Yeah, so I'm not too worried. All right, so it looks like graham crackers, periwinkle and all this crew would probably be the ones to go. Hazelnut, you can come and join this little group and dig some things up. We've got our winter warriors that I'm gonna send down now. There we go. They'll go this way. And I think Chestnut can go with them. So I'm gonna send Chestnut along too. And we'll have them kind of scour the side of the island. There we go. I'm gonna get Holly in the nest. She's ready to have her baby. And Pine is just kind of gonna spend his time running from one side of the tree to another, trying, they're not crabbit legs, but they're crunchy, my love. Trying to offer up food for his beloved mate, uh, his beloved mate Holly to eat. All right, I know Blizzard was so cool, guys. All right, so a lot of people wanna see Tiger Eye and Cranberry. <gasps> what? <laughs> Do you have a baby? Are you a woman? Do you have a child by any chance? Uh, tiger eye, tiger eye, I think somebody wants to eat you. Oh my gosh. This is what Diego wanted all along, guys. This is what Diego wanted. Diego from the other side of the island like, I think that Periwinkle and Diego, like Diego might be, uh, oh, he can't get the crabbit from that side. They're exchanging winks. They're letting each other know that they think they're quite attractive. I think that Periwinkle and Diego would be able to have not only healthy children, but children that would contribute to our overall goals that we have. And then little does Diego know, while he's over here flirting with Periwinkle, uh, we've got finally the fight that he was looking for. So this is what he was after all along. I think Albatross kind of has this. I, I don't think that this is going to be too alarming to a lot of our, our, yep, nope. There we go. That's all it took. That wasn't, that wasn't even that alarming. All right, and Jean's Bond actually has used his powers of observation to notice that Osprey had actually frozen up. So yeah, see, we're doing good. I think we'll go ahead and destroy that berry bush because Osprey is done with all the bundles running after it. And she can dig up some food there. Jean's Bond can come up here. Cranberry can clear away some spots. And Sid can join them and clear away some spots. So yeah, I don't think it's day 100. Yeah, it is day 117. We've already changed it to a day 117. <laughs> oh, a girl worth fighting for. That's true. Oh my gosh, Spooky Panda. There's some amazing things going on in our chat right now. So Diego has found a girl worth fighting for. 
and it's Periwinkle. So Periwinkle, I'm gonna go ahead and have her become pregnant. Um, and then I think that she and Diego, like Diego suddenly understands why you would want to protect the niche like babies, why you would want to get rid of those toxic berries. But how many can I take to the next island? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we will actually maybe send somebody like Snowbell or one of our winter warrior fighters and we'll send Diego and Periwinkle and maybe some of the others because I definitely think moving on to a new island even though we have so many amazing niche links <laughs> would be a good idea so let's try to get some food we'll just sort of focus on that for now and then I wonder here sugar you go ahead any bundles okay we've got a bundle there Food and uh, gathering up nesting material will be our goal. Oh my goodness, I love how you guys are singing about about our wonderful uh, little romance we've got going back there. All right, in fact, I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. I feel confident about that. I get really overwhelmed when there's so many nichelings, but I think Diego is going to say that he feels a little bit inept on this island. Holly's already got everything wrapped up. There's no real competition. Even when a Barina shows up that he could possibly show off his strength to, other nichelings destroy it before he can even lift a paw. I think Diego wants to take Periwinkle to a new island in a new land because he's a little bit sassy and he wants to prove himself. So we'll say that is one of our big motivations for getting off this island. And we actually don't have a black rose at the moment and Snowbell, Let's see. We'll have Sherlock jump over. Somebody just got bleached. Wait, what do you mean? I unlocked what? We unlocked a new gene to mutate. What? When did we do that? Yes! High fertility, you guys! We finally unlocked that gene. I guess we finally it finally counted as a hundred days. Alright. Well, that's really good news for Diego, if you ask me. In fact, Diego. Uh we might just give him some high fertility on the next island. We'll have to see. Ooh la la. Let's see. Rocco will jump over. Oh, Lena! Bye, Lena! I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for the super chat. We're gonna have some Kravitz raining down from the sky. At this rate, it might need to be bundles. My gosh. In just a second here. Thank you so much. And Nancy Drew can clear this area up. So I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna move over. Yay! There it is! Kravitz! Woo! Thank you so much, Lena! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and yeah, we aren't going to name any of the nichelings just yet, but I think... What should I pick? Yeah, I think we'll send Birch, maybe a Snow Lily. I think Snow Lily would be a good pick to send. Because she does have... We could easily mutate in that medium tail. She has big body recessive. And she is a descendant, uh, a healthy enough descendant of the Winter Warrior. So I think the group that you see right here... And Diego and Periwinkle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think those are the ones we're going to send, guys. I feel pretty confident about that. I don't know about bringing Tiger Eye. Let me find Tiger Eye. Where'd you go, Tiger Eye? And I feel like Nancy Drew's descendants and children might stay on the island to be able to like train up future spies. And then one day when we have a particularly interesting looking nicheling slip back into our tribe, we can definitely say that that is the descendants of our 007 nicheling spy group. Angora. I've never heard of Angora. Oh, a French story. That's so cool. I would love to hear more about a detective Angora at some point. And yeah, it's Rise of the Rabbles at this point. This is kind of ridiculous. We have like overrun of Rabbles. But I think that's definitely... Uh, bye, Lena! I think that's definitely something really fun. Um, and Cranberry and Tiger Eye is like the ship that we've got going on inside of Patreon chat. Tiger Eye, that was pretty cool of him. He's pretty healthy. And Cranberry is right over here. They would not have a healthy child, but Patreon chat asks if we could have a baby with them before we go. And I definitely think that would be sweet. All right, so we'll make them have a baby because apparently they're being shipped in Patreon chat. I, I may have missed out on why, but I'll find out later. And uh, also, KitKat, Happy, if you are getting some updates on Niche, I think the Niche developers are back from their vacation and they're pushing out bug fixes right now. So that might be why you have updates. All right, so I think we've picked them out, guys. Diego, Periwinkle, this four, and we're gonna send them to the next island. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a good lineup. 
Oh, and there we go, just in time. Lilac has grown up to uh, be full grown. Snow Lily, please don't bleed to death, by the way. All right, so now that we've made that decision, I feel pretty good, because we gotta get out of here. So much going on. Uh, we'll go ahead and have Ana, Ana, Ana gather these up. Why are there so many bundles? I am literally perplexed about why there are so many bundles here. All right, there we go. No, Malia, I actually stream a lot. I will be streaming a lot of things. Right now, I'm kind of keeping what I stream sort of limited and focused uh, because I only have so much time. <laughs> I, you, I'm so behind on so many projects due to time, um, which is why we only stream some things. Now, Holly, who did you just have here? Kois, huh? Kois with swimming tail, big body, sneaky tail. She's really cute. I'm gonna name her, um, what should I name her, guys? And then we will have, uh, Lala, I was thinking, Dragon Force, I was thinking of naming her Lala, but as a joke, not as, like, Yuki Reborn, but we'll name her Lala Lee, just to be, like, a reference to Yuki. So, Yuki has a female form named Lala. We're not saying it's Lala Reborn, I don't think, because he was just here a little bit ago, but we'll say that it's Lala Lee, who is, like, just named after the nicheling god Lala. And then let's have Holly scooch over. So there we go. And we'll have we'll have Dipsy go ahead and keep watch of all of the children. And she's gathering up some nuts. Wonderful. <laughs> and yeah, the crabbit dance. All right, there we go. So let's get the rest of the group that we're taking with us up to the north. This group down here, Frost is gonna stay because she just has, um, she's not really got the genes that I wanna send to the next island. Come on, Chestnut. All right, jump over here. But yeah, I'm actually gonna be streaming lots of different stuff in the future. This, <laughs> this Koif has just offered himself up. <laughs> he just offered himself up. And he's like, for now, all of you are focused on the mountain tribes and becoming strong for the snowy lands. But one day you will enter the waters and we will have to work on the achievement related to ruler of the sea. So this is a sign that in the future, we will probably have a lot of mermaid nichelings who just, this, this koi fish just like offered itself to us. That's hilarious. Uh, is it day... Day 118? Okay, so let me change it to day 118. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, once we get so many nichelings, it's so hard to focus. And then we're gonna get rid of that parasite and everybody's gonna work as a team. Graham Cracker is gonna help out with healing up uh, Snow Lily. And we're just gonna get these little ones up. Oops, there's a crab already, or a bundle already. I can't believe, why are there so many bundles? I do not understand. There we go. Well, Graham Cracker is really comfy. He just discovered, um, he just discovered what the hot springs are like. And then, oh my gosh, <laughs> there are so many memes going on in Patreon chat. All right, and we're gonna get Diego up there. We're gonna have him start moving over with Periwinkle. Um, yeah, Diego's gonna attack that leech. And we're gonna have Periwinkle join him. There is a Dodomingo who's being silly and stealing nest. So I guess we can go ahead. Man, don't Mingos take forever to get rid of. Snowbell, you can jump over here and just clear away some of the grass. We've got another bunnel down here with Jenny. Why are there so many bunnels? I have literally never had so many bunnels before. Albatross, what the heck guys? <laughs> this is just a literal bunnel invasion. This is like half of my confusion. I have to take a picture of this really quickly. This is half my confusion. There's just so many bunnels. Yeah, Amelia, we should have had the Eating Nemo achievement, but you're gonna see in the Seeker tribe what happened with that uh, next week. So let's just say the Seeker stole another one. Um, the Yeah, the Seeker stole another one of the chains from us for this but all right so there we go we're going to get all of these bundles i can't believe there's just so many this is ridiculous this is this is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous plenty of food though so it's it's kind of good to have a whole bunch of food to send us off on and then this group i will have uh jeans bond let's have cranberry jump over and oh what's this Oh, oh my goodness, somebody just became a patron. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anonymous on uh, Patreon. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I don't know if you want me to read your name or not. I'm just going to take a little peek and just see if there's like, oh my goodness, we have a new member in our Patreon group. That makes me so happy. Gosh, I'm blushing. Let's see what's happening over there real fast. And don't worry, Patreon chat, we are going to have Cranberry. Oh, Glory! Thank you so much, Glory! Oh my goodness, and Eclipse the Half-Blood. You can find more information out about the Patreon at the link for the Patreon in the video description. It's really cool. I have the postcards. We have a lot of fun in the Patreon chat. Sponsors also get to join the Patreon chat. It's, it's really amazing. And here we go. Now, I missed it, so I can't tell you guys the logic behind it. But I just keep looking down and I see people very, very, very excited and they want to see Cranberry and Tiger Eye have a baby. So we are actually going to go ahead and let them have a little, a little bit of a romance. I suppose running around as childhood playmates together for so long has made it so that they actually, uh, they have fallen in love with one another. And we'll let them have a child before we leave the island. But we normally we take a break about now, but I think we're gonna go ahead and just push to the next island because I feel pretty confident with the group that we've chosen. It's not as many nichelings as I wish we could take, but we definitely need to get a move on if we're going to find the mammoth foot and complete the achievement. Because normally we, uh, an eclipse, you can check on the Patreon stuff in the video description. There's a link in there and it will explain how to do it. All right, there we go. Tigerberry is selling and everybody is really excited. <laughs> Yay, wow, Patreon chat must have set up some sort of romance I totally missed with Cranberry and Tiger Eye because everybody is like, yay, the Tigerberry ship is selling. So we'll have to see what happens there. All right, next day. Dun, 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 who died? What? Whoa, the Dodo Mingo. Oh, Nancy Drew. Rest in peace, Nancy Drew. Oh, guys, Nancy Drew <laughs> didn't discover her. She's off to discover the last big mystery in the sky. The last thing that she can really <laughs> research. Oh, hey, Jacqueline. It's so good. It's so good to see you. And this crab, it just gave up the ghost for a pregnant Periwinkle to go ahead and enjoy. So, all right, guys. Yeah, the Patreon chat is, is amazing to you. We're gonna go ahead and gather up just the last of the materials. Sugar's over here gathering it up. We've got Reese gathering things up and Anna is going to go ahead, grab that leech before it grabs her. Let's see, there's another bundle. I don't know why there's so many bundles. I have no idea. We're gonna let Cranberry go ahead and make a little nest and Tiger Eye can defend her and watch over her lovingly. Albatross and Osprey are going to dive back into, there we go. I mean, everybody is just like getting rid of the Dodomingo that are in the way. We're, what we're doing right now is just having these guys really rapid fire collect up materials so that we can wiggle on to the next island. Because I think we'll go ahead and finish on the next island today. Let me go ahead and get little Lala Lee, named after Lala. Uh, Small Feather, we're gonna be ending once we move to the next island. I'm a little bit worn out and I have some projects to work on for you guys still. It's gonna be really exciting because Cats and Dogs comes out soon. There's Zoo Tycoon coming out on Halloween. It's ridiculous. And it looks like, by the way, Bryce, so far that prehistoric genes are equally recessive. Like neither of them will really dominate the other. Um, so let's go ahead. Dipsy, you're keeping an eye on the babies. Hazelnut is now old enough to take care of herself. So she's gonna gather up some material. Dipsy will help out gathering material as a good nanny to take care of all of those nests. And then Holly will examine her nest as the leader. And then let's see, we'll have Tiger Eye stay near his mate because apparently Tigerberry is a ship that sailed when I wasn't looking in Patreon chat. And then let's see, can I destroy this? Yes. All right, Maple's destroying the toxic berry bush. Chestnut's gonna grab this bunny. Winter's gonna grab this bunny. Why are there so many bunnies? I don't understand. And then we're gonna have this crew with Graham Cracker. Snow Lily! Everybody, put your Kravitz out for Birch! We've got Lilac! We've got a big rock in the way! Forget you, Rock! You totally slowed me down! Birch is- Birch also has a big rock in the way! Why? <laughs> There's Rock! We've got the four Nishlings and our Rock crew! What? Alright, Graham Cracker is gonna jump on over! We're on our way, guys. We are gonna get this last little group with Periwinkle. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, Avon, hey, thank you so much. So Fern has requested a donation of Kravitz in her honor to the prey pile. Check that out. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It really truly does help. Oh my goodness. And Diego has revealed the way onto this port. Can I take a sixth nichling? <gasps> Is that a secret sixth spot? You guys, I think I can take six nichlings. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to look them over and, th and think about who we might also want to take. I If that's a sixth spot, that'll be kind of like a risky spot because we'll have to see if a nichling actually can go through there or not. Um, but we'll have to look into that. And yeah, Mandy, oh, I'm so happy. That was a really, it was amazing. Mandy, you've been around since like the very, very beginning of our channel. I'm so glad that you still get so much fun messaging us. All right, and Periwinkle is going to take some big giant jumps and Diego is going to glance behind himself and just, oh, what a woman. She's got big body, she's fluffy, she's got a big belly. She's gonna have some of his babies, which he's probably pretty excited about. He has other babies, but they all had platypus beaks. I could understand his saber tooth, Don Juan, how that would be a little bit hard to feel like you could get that excited <laughs> if your babies don't look anything like you. Um, and I, I don't think, uh, let's see. So, Moon is a pretty name. Uh, and yeah, I remember Untold Tales, uh, Mary Katie. The reason we don't do Untold Tales is because Cattails is literally made by the same person and it's like a better version of the game. So that's why. All right, so let's see. Next up, next day, are we gonna get out of here? What do you mean I've unlocked a new gene? What the heck? Okay guys, hang on. We're gonna go ahead, we're on day 120, thank goodness gracious, and Whoa, easy peasy there, Lagdag. All right, what do we have? What did I just unlock? What could I have just unlocked? What did we just unlock? Did we, what did we unlock? Was it normal blood clotting? That couldn't have been it. What on earth did we just unlock? Who knows? I honestly don't know, guys. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, day 120. Welcome to your first stream, Marco. Um, I don't know what we just unlocked. So I'm gonna have to see. Hopefully it's useful. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. All right, so let's go ahead and see Diego. Do, do, do. Oh my gosh, oh, and there's the baby. All right, and so this is the beautiful baby girl who has been born from Cranberry and Tiger Eye. And this is going to be our lovely little one. Uh, we're gonna have to see what the chat down here is looking for. And let's see. I don't know if we can, uh, Shrieking, uh, actually, if we can bring them. I don't think it would, it would be cruel, actually, to Shrieking to bring the baby, I think, because the baby has big ears and medium body. It would freeze to death. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're going to name her Tigerberry. That's what Patreon chat was talking about. We might think about bringing her. Pancakes would have been a good name with big ears like that. But she would freeze to death really fast on a snowy island. Uh, trust me, I've had a little bit of experience with this with the Yukiers. All right, and Cranberry, meanwhile, can come right on over. Well, she was gonna try to get some food for her baby. All right, well, Auntie Albatross can grab the food for the baby. All right, Osprey is gonna stay near her sister to keep her warm. Tiger Eye is going to stay near his family to keep them warm. Reese is gonna jump over here and eat from this berry bush. There we go. We're gonna just keep moving around. All right, there's that. Can't destroy that. Oh, thank you so much, Starclaw. That's such a sweet message. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Yeah, I really think that, I think Patreon chat, I truly think that Tigerberry would literally starve to death if I took her with us. So that's one of the reasons I'd be a little bit hesitant to do that. All right, Ginny is going to keep gathering uh, some material. Sherlock, I'm kind of wondering if Sherlock should go, but we like the fangs are no longer something we need to worry about. So what the heck? We've got more more parasites happening. All right, let's see. Yeah, Anna, Anna, Anna has a leech. She's bleeding and she's also got sickness. We're just going to zip through really quickly. Okay, there we go. This baby can happily eat some nuts. Coco and Lalali are little sisters and they're happily living together. Holly is going to gather up some nesting material. 
We'll go ahead and have our nanny, Dipsy, gather up some nesting material. Hazelnut can come over and also grab nesting material. Uh huh. And then maybe she can help out with grabbing some of that food. Sid's gonna jump over nesting material really quickly. Jean's Bond has found a Dodo Mingo happily snuggled down on a nest. Sugar is older. Uh, also, Audie's Life, I find face cams to be so distracting in normal Let's Plays. I don't enjoy them in normal Let's Plays. I actually have a super hard time watching people if they have face cams in Let's Plays. So that's why I don't do them in normal Let's Plays unless it's a live stream. Live streams are a little different. Then you guys can see my wiggly eyebrows when we have a moment to go on in our, in our niche streams. But otherwise, that's why I don't do it. Because I, I actually get super distracted. I'm so shy that I actually get anxious. Like if people have face cam on or if like there's voiceover, I still get a little bit shy and anxious. All right, so we're gonna make this happen. Diego, reveal the spot. Diego, how did you get a leech? Now you have to have your, your beautiful mate come over and she plucked a leech off him and there is a sixth spot. So we're gonna have to go ahead and who to pick? Should I pick one of the... We're, I'm gonna I'm gonna review the genes really quickly on our family tree and see if there's anybody who also has that big body. Lilac is truly the only one. Pine, Periwinkle, uh, and we're taking Periwinkle and Pine. Dipsy's the only other one who has it. Um, and we don't we do have a few who have it as recessive. Snow Lily, Tiger Eye does have it. Tiger Berry, Tiger Berry, do you have recessive big body? Hmm. Hmm. And yeah, Callium, I, I totally agree with you, by the way, in Patreon chat. Uh, you don't think that's a sixth spot, Avon? I feel like that might be a sixth spot because it's colored a little bit differently. So we might want to be really careful and shrieking, I swear, I think Tiger Berry would die if we take her. So I don't think that that may be a sixth spot. I kind of think Sherlock just because it would be easy. I don't I don't think Tiger Eye should go either because he's old now. Um, let me see. What? What was this? Oh, Peribubble! Thank you so much! Oh, I might have say Bubble. Parable. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me pull that up to see what it said because I know you also are not just saying a bunch of naughty words. Oh, thank you! More tiger berries. <laughs> I don't know what happened in chat to make tiger berry a thing. We might be able to make him have one more baby before we have to go. Uh, maybe Sid? Sorry guys, I'm just glancing through. Jenny would have been yeah no I don't think there's anybody perfect to take so maybe Sherlock like one of the ones who are close by because uh, if we try to if we wait for a nicheling who's further away we might really seriously regret that um, because we need to get moving so I'm gonna have to think about it. tiger eye definitely cannot go tiger eye I'm sorry all right there we go because There are six spots, but the grass one is not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you sure this isn't a spot? Maybe I'm just gonna throw a random nicheling over there. Whoever, only five spots are elevated. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still seeing this spot elevated. So if I pick somebody, then, um, yeah, if I pick somebody, I think that it'll just kind of be as an off chance of like, maybe he'll be able to go, maybe he won't. Also, Lilac, you are slow. Oh my gosh. All right, and Graham Cracker at least. <laughs> Graham Cracker has jumped right up on in there. So we just have this last little crew to go. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's another... Yeah, the one I care least about. Uh, oh, and test with the pregnant nicheling. Good idea, Avon. So that is actually a very smart way to test if you're not sure if it's a port jump or not. You can try to build a nest on that spot. If you cannot, it is a portal and you can go through. If you can build a nest on it, it is not a portal. So we'll actually move Li or Periwinkle over there and see if she can jump, uh, if she can build a nest there or not. All right, so there we go. <laughs> So much going on. Oh, and thank you so much, Eclipse the Half-Blood. That means a lot to me. All right, next day, because we have so much happening. Sorry, I can sometimes slow down a little bit. I, I'm i going to have to be kind of brutal about keeping initially numbers down sometimes. All right, and some predator thought it was a good idea to come and mess with Holly. <gasps> 
Tipsy, you're not supposed to bring your boyfriend cheese into the tribe. This is unacceptable behavior. This is unacceptable behavior, ma'am. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, um, no! Tiger Eye, mm, why don't you go ahead? Nope, 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 nope! Dipsy! Dipsy, you're gonna die like tomorrow! Oh my gosh, and now I have to decide do I want Holly to defend herself from this predator or the Sparina has already taken some damage? What is happening over here? Run, Holly! Run! I don't need this right when we're just about to leave! Oh no, Coco! Oh dear, all right, all right, let's, Pine, can you please, let's just go ahead, get out of here, buddy. Dipsy, Dipsy, Dipsy. That's what I get for having her join the family, and, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe, get out of here, Rogue. <laughs> Fine, Dipsy, you can have your baby. Oh my gosh, and Tiger Eye is going to try to defend his wife. Oh, I can't believe she brought cheesy, not too cheesy. All right, let's get Maple over here. Maple's beautiful, actually. Maple. I don't think you're gonna make it, but run for it. If you can, if you can get there, Maple, I'm bringing you. All right, hang on, guys. This is always like the the roughest part to me is when we have to just grab the last of our niche links and make a dead run for the next island. Uh, in fact, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this experiment. Can I? I can build a nest there. You guys are right. You guys are right, we don't have an extra spot. So back over Periwinkle goes. Birch is gonna jump on over. Snow Lily is gonna jump on in. And we're gonna get Lilac. She's so slow, but she made it. You guys were right. This is the crew. This is the only group we can take. So fermented bean curd, by the way, Stray Stars. Chutney, oh my gosh, Nato. We need to save the name Nato for one of our groups. All right, so. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so there we go. That's that's the group we can bring with us. And let's just grab the very last of our materials that we can get on this island. I cannot believe we're going to leave with Dipsy having brought her boyfriend, Nacho Cheesy, a rogue into the tribe. That's just so, and she's gonna die tomorrow. I can't believe that. All right. Well, Dipsy brought her boyfriend. And Sherlock is going to stay behind and train up some 007 nichelings. And then whoever we run into in the future who reminds us of uh, that side of the family will say that they were trained by Sherlock and the rest of that crew. Can I get that mole? Dang it, that mole got away. All right, Sid's going to stay over here oh, and revive his brother Jean's bond. There we go. And Ana Ana Ala. I have to give her props. I feel like Ana 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 has kind of become like a bit of a survivor because she has doubled up immunity. She's been alone since she was a baby without protection because we were worried about her causing sickness. So I didn't keep anybody near her when she was on the nest. She has a leech, she's bleeding and she's still alive. She is a survivor, you guys. I am, I am so impressed by her. She's really held in there. So Anna, Anna, you're awesome. Anna, Anna, the little, the little survivor, and cheesy, not your cheesy, no, no. Here, Reese, you can run for it. I'm not gonna. You can, you can, you can just come down here and you can hang out with our little survivor. All right, is that about everybody? Just about everybody. Tigerberry is not protected, but shouldn't die because, <laughs> thankfully, we're gonna be leaving the island now. All right, so the quick round of goodbyes to Snowbell, Draco. Izzy the second. We need to say goodbye to Sherlock, who's going to be staying behind with his brother, Jeans Bond. And they're going to be training up a future future crew of nichelings. I'm sure we'll run into one of their descendants or one of their students in the future who can return the detective nature to our tribe. Not too worried about that. We're going to say goodbye to Jenny. We've got Albatross, Osprey, Sid, Jeans Bond, Cranberry, Tigerberry, Holly, Hazelnut, Coco, who's pregnant with Dipsy's boyfriend's Nacho Cheesy's child. Uh, we've got Tiger Eye, Lalali, named after the god Lala slash Yuki in honor of them. Pine, 
who was an amazing mate, by the way. He was always taking very good care of his mates. Dries, Anna, Anna, the survivor. And then at the back here, I'm so sad because I really wanted to bring Maple with us, but there's not enough space. So we've got Maple, Chestnut, Frost, and Winter. And I'm going to really miss all of them. Um, so it's going to, I'm going to, I'm going to miss them. We can only take a few though. And let's go ahead and we're going to end today by jumping to the next island and seeing what is going to be available to us in terms of being able to really go after the achievement. And don't worry guys, next week I have a feeling we'll move a lot faster. I'm just really exhausted this week. So I'm glad we were here at all. All right, Graham Cracker, lead the way. I really hope all of you guys come with me. I'm going to be very alarmed if we only have a couple of them. All right, you guys ready? Can I have a little sip of tea? By the way, did you notice my mug is a giraffe? That's amazing. It's really amazing. And Bryce, you actually keep the uh, females that go with you at the same energy level. So let's do this. Go Diego, go! Oh my gosh, Patreon chat! You win the memes of the night. <laughs> Rest in pinchers and go Diego, go. That's gonna be the name of the episode is go Diego, go. I hope I don't get copyright flagged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here we are, guys. Holy no grass. Holy leeches. What the heck? What is this? Avon, what did you just say, my dear? Oh my goodness, Avon. Diego, the ladies' man for the hero. Oh my goodness. So we still have our wonderful snow lily, but this was. Oh, and they do get energy. Thank you, Bryce. In the old, in the older versions, they don't get new energy on new islands. I'm sorry, I didn't listen to you. I will listen in the future, I promise. But Diego has led us to a new land because he could not show off his stuff enough with everybody else being equally as awesome on the old island. He has brought with him his big, beautiful woman, Periwinkle. We have sent out a lilac. We have also sent out Snow Lily and we have Graham Cracker with us on this big, 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 what? I have never been on an island this large before. Have you guys ever been on an island this large before? Wait, Birch. Birch! You guys! Birch! Where'd he go? <laughs> thank you! Very well, thank you! New island hype! Birch was lost to the snowy waters! He slipped into the ice! New island hype on the new island, go Diego, go. But where did Birch go? It looked like I had enough spots. From now on, pregnant nichelings are going to test each spot like it's ice or something and make sure that you can't fall through when you go to the next island. Birch has been lost to us and he was much needed. Oh, Alari, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. He was lost on the journey. You guys, we've got to come up with some amazing stories about what happened to Birch. The sacrifices he gave to make sure that maybe little Graham Cracker could make it. Shoving little Graham Cracker forward, saying, go for it. Go for it, little bro. Oh my goodness. Birch got lost. We're on a new island. Go Diego Go is the name of the episode. Avon! <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Avon, I don't know why some of those things are censored. Thank you so much, Alari. Thank you so much, Avon. The letter I is censored. Oh my gosh, I have no idea why. Uh, this is this is a beautiful, beautiful crabbit prey pile. I love the new idea. So go, Diego, go. We're on a new island. It's huge. I have never had an island this big. Have you guys ever had a sea monster? Lily, that sounds hilarious. And yeah, Bryce, I agree. This island has a ton of bunny burrows and we've experienced getting bunny burrows. Also, I've never been on an island this big before. Ever, ever. Do you know how many days I've played niche? I have almost 200 hours in niche. Okay, okay, and you, are, you guys, are you guys really excited for this? Because I'm really excited for this. It's time, yeah, this island is actually hilarious, dragon with a pen. I've never been on an island this big before. It's really interesting. Diego should find plenty to be able to fight and to achieve here. And um, there's permanent nest. But did you see how many 
Did you see how many? That's right, Dragon. Dragon Forest AJ saw there are three ice blocks. We should hopefully be able to get those cracked open. So we've got one ice block here. We have got one ice block right here with a permanent nest right next to it. So we can immediately look at whoever comes out of that ice block, say, have my babies and jump right into the nest. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> we have got one ice block back here with a more permanent nest. This looks like it's gonna be an okay island. Famous last words, by the way. But this looks like it's gonna be an okay island, so we will have to come back next week. I have no idea what we're going to name this island, but we need to like pray to the Krabbage gods that it will give us Mammut food so that we can have that achievement and then we can take off ready to go for more of the achievements available in the full release version of Niche. All right, so we're gonna pop on in and should it be Diego the Daring is going to be our new leader, the new tribe leader. She'll be known as Diego the Daring when we come back and we are ready for our next adventure. So Diego the Daring, go Diego, go. You guys are awesome. Even on days when I'm really tired, you, you, your amazing ideas and memes just make my day. And then our most recent hero, you guys, is going to be Birch. So Birch, Birth, what? No, Birch, huh? Birch the Lost. That's just what we're gonna call him for now. And we may not know exactly how he was lost, but his story will never be forgotten among the five, not six, nichelings who were able to come with us. And I'm really, really, really glad that we didn't actually try to add more nichelings to that pile because I would have been really sad. So poor baby Birch. I don't know what happened to him, but we're going to say he saved like maybe Graham Cracker from falling into the water and being lost forever. We're on a brand new island. There are three wonderful ice blocks. Our crabbit pile is overflowing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> to the amazing people who have contributed to the Crabbit Pile. Thank you so much to our new sponsors. That means we're even closer to not only keeping the channel healthy and growing, but also getting some fun little emojis, like a Crabbit. I need to add Crabbits as emojis. That will be our next emoji is actual Crabbits. That would be exciting. Or like little DNA twirly do's. Thank you so much to Patreon chat because truly without their help, I would have been so tired and overwhelmed today. I wasn't feeling like streaming. So pretty much the entire reason you guys are seeing the stream is because patreon chat really had my back and they were so excited and it just got me excited and that kind of exchange of positive energy is what we're all about so i hope you guys have a wonderful night thank you so much for joining me i'm really pumped and excited go diego go for the next week because hopefully we'll be able to explore this huge island and crack open some fun ice blocks find some good genes unlock those awesome achievements and have a hilarious time while we do it so i know i miss i miss chicken heart shoe island so much i miss it so much i hope you guys had a wonderful time remember if you do want to send in the fan art so it will show up at the beginning of the next live stream it is the mail for siri at gmail.com email because i have a lot of questions about that sometimes <laughs> variable thank you that's so nice i'm so glad that the positivity is infectious so I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for joining me. Next week, hopefully, we'll actually go a little bit faster. And thank you again for contributing so much. Our patrons, our sponsors, everybody, those of you who just showed up and had a great time, to our crabbit pile and our adventures. And I will see you all next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>